best movies are those where you can walk out of the theater and forget you are watching a movie. This exact experience happened to me after watching one of the most critically acclaimed films of 2017, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. As thrilling and exciting as it is, Three Billboards is far from an action movie. It's a dramedy that drifts more towards drama as the plot revolves around Mildred Hayes, a mother who just wants answers and actions from police after her daughter was brutally murdered. Long story short, this movie put me in a unique position, especially as someone who loves to pick apart films as I'm watching them. Whereas in most films I can say to myself, oh this is going to happen next, Three Billboards responded with something completely different. In some cases the following action wasn't even necessarily the opposite of what I expected. It was something new entirely, a direction I never would have guessed the movie would go in. This is of course subjective to a certain extent, I'm sure some of you film geniuses in the comments saw these plot points coming from miles away, but despite whether you guessed right or not, it's no secret that this movie was shoving its unpredictable tone in your face. Addressing this aspect of the film is nothing new. I mean, in practically every review of the film, critics love to bring up its unpredictability. The film plays out in a way that I honestly did not expect it to. But what I think is so smart about the writing and what I feel is so unaddressed about Three Billboards is how this aspect of the film correlates with the story. As mentioned earlier, Three Billboards is a story about a mother who wants some form of justice, answers, basically anything after her daughter was murdered. She is up against the law which in this film consists of William Willoughby and Officer Dixon. The entire conflict of the film comes from her anger and frustration towards the police because of false expectations. You would expect in a situation like this, a deep investigation would go down. You would think there would be some sort of consequence or greater action, but instead, you get this. Right now, there ain't too much more we can do. This situation Mildred is put in is frustrating and to a certain extent inescapable in a system like this. It's a perspective that is incredibly difficult to replicate onto the audience. It's a perspective Martin McDonough manages to pull off exceptionally well, not through sympathy or through any sort of dialogue, but psychologically through the film's pacing. It's one thing to have a somewhat unexpected twist like Chief Willoughby committing suicide, but to continue with unexpected plot points becomes less of a storytelling technique and more of a theme and symbol. The more frequently the film went into a different direction, the more I gave up on guessing what was going to happen next. As time went on, I stopped thinking about the future and began to live in the present with the characters. The message is summarized beautifully in the final scene with Mildred and Officer Dixon in the car. The two are at a point where society has disrupted their own personal universe so much to a point where their next move is pretty much non-existent. You would think that at this point we as an audience would know what was going to happen next, the same way how at this point you would think Mildred and Officer Dixon would know what was going to happen next. But in reality, given how society works and how we function as people, that ending could be anything. This film is full of different messages regarding racism, sexism, family related issues, but something I feel the film is getting across the most subtly is the idea of not only enjoying the present, but understanding it. A common conflict for Mildred is her inability to truly stay within the present. Her drive in life comes from what happened in the past, how she's going to deal with it in the future, and the eventual justice she hopes to receive. All of her actions are done for the sake of a future goal, thinking little about the people around her in present day like her son for example. It's as though Mildred is constantly either living as her old self wrapped up in her past, or she's focusing on becoming a new and stronger Mildred, never stopping for a second to ask herself, who is the current Mildred? This is why I see the ending of Three Billboards as being so rewarding because for once in the story, after struggling to find some sort of peace, Mildred is finally able to accept the present day. Three Billboards, or I should say Martin McDonough, portrays this idea not only through Mildred as a character, but through us, as he strips away the way most of us, or at least I, watch movies. There have been a variety of different complaints towards this film. I can't speak for most people, but I've noticed of all this criticism, few times is it directed towards one of the bigger risks the film takes, which is leaving the ending so open-ended. My point is that if you were making an ending like this for most movies, it would leave the audience frustrated and wanting more, but not in a good way. In Three Billboards, it works, because just like Mildred, after being thrown around in a series of different twists and turns for two hours, we, the audience, learn to live in the present as well. At the beginning of this essay, I stated how my favorite films are those where the credits roll and I forget I was watching a movie, and Three Billboards is a prime example of such a scenario. Martin McDonough created a work that I feel encapsulates the idea of good filmmaking in the sense that it is unpredictable, rewarding, important, immersive, and above all, incredibly entertaining. Thank <laughs> you.